corner pin worked, you could see that it was very labor intensive to get it done and it's not perfect. A more automated solution, something that you could count on more is Mocha. Now, why not use 3D tracking points? From the previous time we used 3D tracking points, they are very good, but they also have a little slippage of the image planes occasionally. So Mocha is a planner tracker, and that means it looks for a plane to grip onto. It looks at the pixel differences within that plane to get the data for how that plane should live on top of this image. To apply Mocha, I first turned off the donut cam image, and we'll get back to the person eating donut a little later. I'll go to the video layer, which is the short.mp4, and going under animation and selecting Track in Boris FX Mocha. That adds a plugin to the effects controls. And from here, you just have to click the big button, Mocha. You might have to click past a few screens to get it launched. But when you're done, you'll be here in the Mocha's essential workspace. To get started, to preview the video, you can use the Willy Mouse to go forward or backwards. You could press the play button also to play your video and stop. You could play it backwards. Another option to jump to a particular frame is to click within the frame field and type a number, such as starting at zero. Or whenever you see the rotate tool over a field, that means if you start drawing a circle out on screen by holding the left mouse button, use the field to be a jog, which is a big dial that you would rotate forward and backwards like that. Now the best place to start when you're tracking is at a frame where you get to see your image is not hiding behind anything else, the object that you're trying to track. And in this case, frame zero seems to be a good place to start. Pick up the pen tool, which is up here, and create a spline going around the whole board. The reason why we're clicking around the whole board, even though we're looking to just replace the center, if we go too tight within that frame of the digital board, or as a logo appears, it will also drag the tracking points with it. To stop creating this line, you might have to take three. You might have to click past a few screens to get it launched, being the registration screen if it's the first time, and feel free to register if you want, and another screen. But when you're done, you'll be here in the Mocha's essential workspace. To get started, to preview the video, you can use the Willy Mouse to go forward or backwards. You could press the play button also to play your video and stop. You could play it backwards. Another option to jump to a particular frame is to click within the frame field and type a number, such as starting at zero. Or whenever you see the rotate tool over a field, that means if you start drawing a circle out on screen by holding the left mouse button, use the field to be a jog, which is a big dial that you would rotate forward and backwards like that. Now, the best place to start when you're tracking is at a frame where you get to see your image is not hiding behind anything else, the object that you're trying to track. And in this case, frame zero seems to be a good place to start. Pick up the pen tool, which is up here, and create a spline going around the whole board. The reason why we're clicking around the whole board, even though we're looking to just replace the center, if we go too tight within that frame of the digital board, to stop creating this line, press the right mouse button on a Mac, control click. and that stops the creation for the left mouse button. These are the tangents for the curvature and I'm going to pull these tighter. Within the center, which is this show planner, 
this will be what will become the corner pin. Now the corner pin has to be tied around the screen where we're placing. Here we want it done automatically. We're going to go tight around the screen. So if I hold down the Z key and drag upward, I could zoom in and the middle mouse button pans. Take a moment to fit your corner pins or your potential corner pins tight to the screen. When that's done, zoom back out, Z key, and drag in the mouse button. I'm in my essential layout. I'm going to click on the perspective button because I have this such big bounding box. It doesn't have to be that big. I'll get a little closer to the edge that I don't have to worry about the screen image interfering with the tracking. And I'll make sure I'm at frame zero and I'll hit the T key on the right side to track forward. If we were tracking somewhere from the center backwards, we would hit the one on this side. So next step is to track and wait. Press the left mouse button, and that stops the creation. On Mac, try and control mouse click with the left mouse button. These are the tangents for the curvature, and I'm going to pull these tighter. Within the setter, which is this show planner, this will be what will become the corner pin. Now the corner pin has to be tied around the screen where we're placing. As you've seen in the previous video when you're using corner pin, it take four. As you saw in the video replacing corner pins before, you're, it's going to take five. The corner pin will push in the corners into a perspective that we create with the corner pins. Here we want it done automatically. We're going to go tight around the screen. So if I hold down the Z key and drag upward, I could zoom in and the middle mouse button pans. Take a moment to fit your corner pins or your potential corner pins tight to the screen that you want. When that's done, zoom back out, Z key, and drag in the mouse button and done. Down, take two, down. I'm in essential work, take four. I'm in my essential layout. I'm going to click on the perspective button because I have this such big bounding box, it doesn't have to be that big. 
I'll get a little closer to the edge that I don't have to worry about the screen image interfering with the tracking. And I'll make sure I'm at frame zero and I'll hit the T key on the right side to track forward. If we were tracking somewhere from the center backwards, we would hit the one on this side. So next step is to track and wait.